what the what it tells to the visa officer? Tells to the visa officer, oh, this boy is not sitting idle. He has worked, he has improved, he has tried to do something. He seems to be genuine. He has taken his sad, he has taken his tofa, he has, you know, tried to basically, if, if suppose I, I get more scholarship, I would also put that. I have also got more scholarship this time. I have got a $15,000 scholarship per year. And uh, these are some of the changes that I've made in the world. So this is how you can influence your visa officer to grant a visa. Understand simple thing, you know, Mohit, that you are there to sell yourself. You are there to convince the visa officer. You have to think about what are your selling points. If yes. you know what are your selling points, it becomes easy for you to basically answer visa questions. It becomes easy for you to convince the visa officer. It becomes easy for the visa officer to give you visa. Any other doubts? No, sir. So, like, sir, I want to like know the next next step. Like, if I want to proceed with this, so what all things should I now focus on? Like, there are a lot of things I can cannot say because my visa counseling will has to basically look at all your documents and everything and everything and kind of. So yes, if you sir, are sir. looking for visa counseling, then my visa counseling charges are thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Please, thirty thousand. So three thousand. Thirty thousand. So, sir, is your like center is in Delhi or? No, basically, I'm in Mumbai. We have uh, we do study abroad. We are research based counseling center. We do study abroad counseling for all countries, all universities, all levels, and all programs. We do across India. We have students from Middle East, Bangladesh, Nepal, and other countries. So, sir, like, have you also seen and uh, like? So, like you might have also seen cases like me who got rejected twice or thrice and so is it like is is it true that my chances for getting refused in my third interview is 98 percent no no you have it's visa is all about how you are able to answer right if it was 98 percent 99 percent then why you are taking your third time you know that there is a chance okay you need to improve your charts. How you can improve? I showed you that you can take your SAD, you can take your token, you can improve your scholarship, you can increase your bank balance. So these are ways you can increase your chance. You can talk about your work experience with your father as extra. You do not have much, much weight. But all these are ways how you can convince the visa officer. So if you are not going to do anything, for example, and go to the in front of the visa officer, then the visa officer will not have anything to see. You will have nothing to tell. The visa officer will then be forced to refuse him. But if you have enough points, if you have enough points to sell, you have a good chance of getting it. So, sir, like I want to like move further with this. So, what like how can I like contact you? Okay, I will send you the on your WhatsApp. I will send you the bank details and everything. Once you register with us. Then I will basically create a WhatsApp group. We have our student portal now in, and then I will start your visa mod sessions. Okay. And sir, like uh, once I enroll, so what are my chances of getting approved this time? See, you have had a good chance in the first attempt. You had a good chance in your second attempt. It's not that you did not have a chance. You probably did not know how to answer visa question. You thought. If a visa officer is asking something that which, which university are you going, I would only tell the university name because that is what the visa officer expects. This was your thought, which was wrong. And there was nobody who guided you saying that it's a visa interview. It's not a question answer session. It's a visa interview. In interview, it is very important to sell yourself. So if you are not going to sell yourself, how will the visa officer be convinced that you are genuine? How will the visa officer know you? He doesn't know you. He is, he is meeting you for the first time. He is asking you a couple of questions. How can you expect that he knows everything about you? You have to tell him. You did not tell anything. So with whatever limited information the visa officer had, he had to make a decision. Right? Yes. Anything else? No, sir. Okay. 
So these are the things. What I'll do is I'll send the details. If you are interested, once you register, then basically probably I'll start your data. Okay. Okay. And sir, so like if I have if I have any doubts, you'll so... also include yeah. If you also include yeah, you uh, making some more applications. You know all those things that I will tell you what you have to do to improve your chances. Okay. So sir, if I have any doubts, so where, like how can I contact you? So once that you are registered or... students. Then you will have uh, my contact details and everything. No, so before this, spring. before this, the this is, this is the first appointment that is free. So once I send you the details, basically you will have my details. But uh, I am not that. Too, but uh, it will be difficult for me to answer on you know, ongoing basis. What is the objective? Is that first appointment I give free because you know some for some students it helps because they are on that basically level that they want some trick. How I can get the visa, and that one trick can help to get the visa. Okay, for you probably you may need counsel, and there are many other students who may need the counsel because you don't have much idea about how to approach for the visa. Okay, and that's why you, you know, in, in spite of having a good university, in spite of having scholarship, you still do not get a visa. Okay. 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 Okay.